Hey guys, this is me again. Um, just wanted to give a quick update on my tank. As you can see, I moved the rocks around a bit, and things are looking a lot better than before. Uh, one of the issues that I had with one of my curls, my Galaxy curl, was that not a lot of flow was coming to it, you know, and it just looked really stiff. So I spoke to my local um, aquarium place where I get my stuff, and he just told me, you know, move some stuff around, angle the, the fan, on, fan on my corals a bit more to get some more flow. Just a simple thing to do, and it worked really great. Um, one of my, another issue that I had was my maze brain over there. As you know, as my, in my last video, I had it on the sand, which was a really bad idea. What happened was the edges of the coral died. And what I mean by died, it turned completely white. So I'm hoping and crossing my fingers that it bounced back and looks exactly like the way I got it. The overall coral itself looks really good, but it's just around the edges. Um, let me take a quick shot of it. As you can see right there, that's just one spot. And here's another one over there. So if you're planning on getting one of these things, don't do the stupid move that I did and bury it in the sand. Um, as you can see, my star polyps are out. They're spreading really well on that rock. Um, my guess is in about a year, it's going to just take over that, like, that whole back side of the rock that you see right there. My finger leather is doing really good. Um, can't really say anything else. It's just, it's loving the tank, the lighting, everything. Like I said, Oceanic did a really great job on this tank. I have almost zero issues with it, except for the fact that they could have add, added like a holder for the top. I'm gonna show you what I mean in one sec. There's nothing supporting the lid up if you push it all the way up. The 14-gallon version of it has a way where you can tilt the top back, but th this one doesn't. You have to completely remove it if you want to get access to it or just use the very small opening that they provide right here. Other than that, the tank, it's, the tank itself is really awesome. Um, I'm really loving it. Um, everything's looking good. Um, the rock that you see most of my curls on, like my galaxy and my brain maze, I had that in my last tank, and it didn't have much color. I, since I've been adding a lot of calcium, and this is a new tank with new lighting and stuff, it's getting a lot more color. You can see on the bottom right there, that purple, blue right there. Just like on this rock right here, I brought that with all that color on it, which was very expensive. It was almost like... $100 just for that piece of rock and now it's getting almost the same kind of color and like I said I only had this tank for about a month now So the progress that I'm making with it is really impressive um, in about like two weeks. I'm gonna add my Blue hippo tang That I have in my sick tank right here I'm Just turn on the light for you guys to see There he is um, the reason why he's in his tank right now is because this is the second time he's had ick, which is a pain in the butt. But, you know, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update about this tank. I give this tank a 9 out of 10. The reason why it doesn't get a perfect 10, well, because of the issue that I said about the top. Other than that, it's doing really great. Um, if you know, if you go back in the video, you'll notice how quickly, since I moved the top off, my galaxy coral just stopped flowing. Um, like I said, it was a problem that I had because I didn't have enough flow to it. It, the way you saw it before, that's how it looked, just stiff, no movement whatsoever. And as you can see right now, there's lots of flow going on. I'm just waiting for this um, thing to mature, probably in about, like, hopefully in less than a year. It'll look really, really nice. Thank you for watching. Again, give me your comments. Rate the video. Give me your opinions. Um, tell me what corals I should get. What do you recommend? 
what do you think I should move around, uh, what kind of products I, sh I can use for my nitrates, nitrites, phosphates. I'm not really having much of a problem right now. I'm trying to maintain my nitrates and nitrites as low as I possibly can. But like I said, um, just give me your opinions, comments, and ratings. Um, and subscribe. Later, guys.